Me being from Texas, barbecue is not food. Barbecue is a way of life. Let's say we're, we're having a birthday party. Nobody cares whose birthday it is. Everybody just wants to know who's cooking. Because if the right person ain't cooking the barbecue, I'm just going to mail the gift. I ain't even coming. Beautiful foods feed off of fire like pizza and barbecue. So today I'm on a mission to cook up the ultimate barbecue slice, a pie that's smoky, sauced up, and covered in heaps of barbecue meat. My challenger today is no stranger to throwing down in the kitchen. Dale Talde is a restaurant owner, cookbook author, and top chef alum who's always game for a little friendly competition. And of course, we have the perfect judges for this showdown. Bun B is a rap icon from Houston, Texas, whose latest meat-centric passion project is the pop-up restaurant Trill Burgers. And Frank Tudelamundo is the chef owner behind one of New York City's most respected slice shops, Mama's 2. For the first time in Peace Awards history, I have a chance to finish a season with the perfect record. Do I have what it takes? That's for Frank and Bun B to decide. Dale, welcome to Peace Awards. I'm so happy you're here. Are you excited? Thank you for having me. I mean, it's pizza. You look super fabulous. Oh, How could I not you. be excited to be oh, here? Oh, you look fabulous too. I love Thank your you. pizza drip. Thank you. So today it's all about barbecue. And you know, barbecue means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. So what do you love about barbecue? You know, specifically, I love barbecue because in America here, it's a low and slow tradition. But you know, like where I'm from in the Philippines and in Asia, barbecue is generally fast and hot with a lot of heat intense flavors. Barbecue is a big culture. Huge. Pizza is a huge culture. Mm -hmm. Putting them together just makes sense. I can't wait to try your pizza. So tell us what you got going on today. So I am making a barbecue black pepper shrimp and bacon pizza. So it's a tavern style pie, right? Okay. So I'm from Chicago. The misconception about Chicago is they're deep dish. We are a thin crust tavern style pie town. So that means square cut party style and thin crust like a cracker. So this starts with a lower hydration dough that I pre-cooked a little bit to make sure that you get this nice and crispy It looks crispy so bottom. good already. Yeah. So I like to start with a mixture of whole milk and low moisture mozzarella. Okay. And I put it on first because I don't want the tomato sauce to kind of sog this dough out. And I'm taking it all the way to the edges. So this is uh, ground shrimp. So we took raw oh. shrimp. We've seasoned this with a little bit of oyster sauce, black pepper, um, a touch of ketchup, some vinegar. Um, and that's going to be the base of our black pepper shrimp. We're going to go in with a little bit of sliced white onion. Our chefs, we love our bacon. Cheaters! Bacon wins every time. Listen, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> so, and then we have a little bit of our tomato sauce that I'm just gonna dot around. Yeah, not too much. I no. love it already. And this is also gonna help keep this nice and crispy. Okay. So, you know, for a, more of a low moisture pizza like these tavern pies are, I want this to be at around 500, but what I, what I love about the unis are, this gets to like 950. So if you're rocking a Neapolitan pie, something with a wetter dough, it's perfect for that style of pizza. Yes. But it's really flexible. I can't wait, let's go. Let's get this baby in here. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. So like in any traditional tavern pie, right? You gotta cut it into squares. Yes. It's the party cut. So I think, Oh, like any good, oh, 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 look at that. Any good tavern pie has to support its weight. I love the sweetness to it. You know, what makes this really barbecue is that it's really like that sweet and tangy sauce and then a little bit of heat. And then, you, you know, cooking it with fire, you can really taste it in the pie. And then I love this cracker thin crust. That is, this is so delicious. Thank you. I love it. I, I, I think that this is a good pie against a pizza master. <laughs> I don't know if it is good enough to win. It's good enough it's to win. It's good enough to eat for sure because I'm eating it and it's delicious. You know, I'd like to see a little more browning on the on the edges. Otherwise, I think it's a really good pizza. So Dale, this is spectacular, but I have something special for you. Are you ready to see what I'm gonna make? I cannot wait. Well, Dale, your pizza again, top level. But when I think of barbecue, I think of jerk. I'm Jamaican. So for today's barbecue challenge, I'm making a raspberry jerk pork pizza. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 
That sounds like more is more is more and I'm here for it. You know, we're gonna cook with some fire today. The jerk seasoning, it loves a flame. First things first, I'm gonna open up this dough. Marinara, really simple. Crushed tomatoes, salt, pepper. So now I have my cheese mixed here. So I have a 50-50 as well, but I also add a little fontina for a little juiciness. Oh. So now I have my signature item here. This is the raspberry jerk pork. And typically it's like a allspice or pimento based seasoning, right? But also you really can't have jerk without using pimento wood, but just working with fire alone, jerk seasoning loves fire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pop this in the oven and then I'm gonna finish the garnish when it comes out. Sounds good? Sounds great. All right, let's pop this in. I just think there's something special and something raw about cooking with the uni and making pizza this way. You know, it's nothing like just being in the outdoors, the fire, and then just watching your food come to life. Okay, I'm gonna pull this baby. It looks delicious. I'm so happy I get to taste it. First things first, I'm gonna put a little scallion on it. And then I'm gonna take a little raspberries, just to give it a little hint of something nice and cool came out the oven, you know? Then I'm gonna put a little basil down. I was gonna go with pecorino, but then I was like, you know what? I want a little feta. And then just to finish it off, a little sesame seed for a little crunch. Ready? Oh, you, you started without me. <laughs> I this love pizza, that. Pizza waits for no one. Let's take this <laughs> step by step. Your dough, any of the best slice shops in New York City. Thank it's you. crispy, it's chewy. I know purists say on pizza, less is more. This proves them wrong. You know, I knew it was gonna be an uphill battle. <laughs> I'm fully prepared on taking some L's today, and I, I'm happy to take an L to this, because oh. this is stellar. So Dale, thank you so much. It means the world coming from you, but now we have to go to the judges' table. So we've got rap legend Bun B here. He's a Texas native. He takes his barbecue super seriously. And then we've got Frank from Mama's too, just one of my favorite slice shops in the city. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get it, Bud. So me being from Texas, barbecue is not food. Barbecue is a way of life. Like when people take on barbecue as a task, like if you decide you're gonna be the guy that works the grill, you better know what you're doing because you could literally blow the entire evening. Let's say we're, we're having a birthday party. Nobody cares whose birthday it is. Everybody just wants to know who's cooking. That's who's right. cooking the barbecue? Because if the right person ain't cooking the barbecue, I'm just gonna mail the gift. I ain't even coming. <laughs> now, but this is barbecue pizza, so I defer to you when it comes to the pizza. So for me, what I'm looking for is really, really, really sturdy pizza because these toppings are gonna be heavy. And mm. you don't want a flop, you don't want a little saturation of sauce giving you some mess. So I'm expecting just a really good amalgamation of the flavors together. I wonder if they can put something in there that can help bring like a smoky flavor to it, right? Yeah. Seeing as how they don't have the grill and the access to that real pit smoke, I love to see their interpretation of barbecue and flavor on a pizza. All right, we've been talking about food. I'm ready to eat some food. Where's the pizza? All right, no, let's do it, pal. I'm ready to eat. Bring them out, guys. All right, Frank, we got our first pizza here. Now, you're the pizza expert. This thing is fresh out of the oven. Yeah, tavern style, you know, kind of a uh, really good approach to, you know, getting toppings on the pizza. It's got a cracker-like thin crust. Okay. So it's not like Chicago deep dish, tavern style. It's actually what the locals love out there. So it's meant to be a quick bite. Yes. All right, yes. well, let's take a quick bite of this thing. Let's do it. Wow, that's good. Well, I will say this might be my first tavern style pizza. And I like it. I like it. It's not a heavy crust. I like a thinner crust. So it hits all the buttons as far as pizza. I do see the, the use of barbecue. And for one, that bacon, I can't think of me ever having shrimp and bacon in the same bite yeah. before. Yeah. And um, that was amazing. Actually, the flavors went together really well. The sauce is a sauce that kind of merged both worlds. Yep. It was a great experience for me. I really enjoyed it. I like all the flavors. For me personally, for a tavern style pizza, I want a, more, a little bit more shatter, a little more crisp with other carriage. Um, and I really didn't get a lot of barbecue out of it uh, that yeah, I was kind of looking for. But overall, it's a very, very, very fun pizza to eat. And I don't think anybody would be mad at this. Nobody's walking away from this pizza. Yeah, it's balanced. Yeah, we're not kicking sure. you out of bed at night. Yeah, it's very sure. balanced. Let's get this one out of here. Let's bring in number two, guys. Let's bring it in. All right, we got pizza number two here. Well, you know what? I'll tell you one thing. It's a departure from where we were on the other <laughs> pizza. It's very, very different. Yes. I'm excited to eat this. You can see how the flavors play off each other. Now, I will say, with this being a barbecue pizza competition, the fact that they've got jerk pork on it, this pork should have that smokiness yeah. that I was talking about. Yeah. But I, I got to defer to you. 
fruit on a pizza. First time? <laughs> My first time having fruit on a pizza. I mean, I, pineapples are, 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 are kind of standard the world over for fruit on a pizza. Right. But having berries on my pizza, I never had it before in my life, pal. <laughs> All right, well, this is the first time for everything. Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. All right. All right. It's definitely jerk. Yeah. They yeah. got the yeah. jerk. Right. Uh-huh. For sure. So I wonder if that's kind of like normally when, with a lot of Jamaican food, right? They incorporate like mango a lot of time to cut the spice. You think maybe that's where the raspberry cuts in so that the yeah, pork doesn't come through? I think through? so. Do you think maybe there's too much topping for a crust this thin? Yeah, way too much topping going on here. Again, very different pizza uh, in terms of even the, the integrity of the crust. Almost like a hybrid of um, Neapolitan and New York style pizza. A lot to, to take on and very impressive that they were it all together. And um, a compliment. Yeah, definitely impressive. Definitely impressive. A straight jerk pizza with this, this would have been rough. Yeah. Yeah. We've been doing a lot less talking yeah. and a lot more drinking water, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> well, I never thought I'd have a barbecue-based pizza, but today we actually had two. The problem is we got to pick one. We'll go back, we'll sit down, we'll figure it out, and we'll crown somebody a winner today. Yeah, it's going to be tough. We'll do it. We got it. Bun B, Frank, thank you so much for being here today. We're super excited to have you. I'm happy awesome. to be here, too. Awesome. I think it was great. I'm a big food guy, so... You had me at food. <laughs> <laughs> Dale and I had a ball cooking these pies for you. This is an uphill battle. I'm standing next to the champ, so hopefully I showed up. For me, when it came to the barbecue and flavoring, I really enjoyed the jerk pork. Really the closest you could get to having a smoked ingredient on a pizza. Whoever put raspberries and feta on the pizzas, guys, some balls will do it. So I think, uh, <laughs> you know, kudos to you on that. The one thing I liked is that both of these pizzas had flavored combinations I'd never tried before. Oh. This one had shrimp and bacon. I'm a big shrimp guy, and obviously in Texas, we're big bacon people. But I, I, I found it crazy that I'd never had a dish that combine both in one bite. You guys put a lot of thought into the ingredients that you pick and the com flavor combinations that you wanted to try with these pizzas. Very ambitious. Yeah. But yes. um, unfortunately, there's only one trophy. Yeah. Only one person gets it. So yeah. Frank yeah. and I have had to make a decision today. Yeah. All right. Today's winner of the barbecue pizza challenge is the shrimp and bacon. Oh my God. Pizza. Congratulations! You there you go. I can't believe it. There you I go. can't believe it. Oh my God, congratulations. You wore the right chain today. Absolutely. <laughs> and I almost had a clean sweep this season. He broke my record. Dale, you won this fair and square. Congratulations. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. I'm honored. Uh, no small feat. I know that, you know, she's an amazing oh, competitor. Yeah. Her pizza is amazing. And Chicago, man, let's do it. Taking it for Chicago. Tavern pie all Tavern the pie way. All the way <laughs> uh, congratulations. Thank you. Oh my God, that's so fun.